is WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee, USA. From the beautiful state of Tennessee, the city of Nashville, and from the United States of America, we bring you a Christian message today from the program Words of Hope. Have you ever had these thoughts? Where did I come from? Why am I here? Is there a purpose in life? Where will I go after death? And is there life after death? All of us have pondered these thoughts at times. Stay tuned. Our speaker, Brother Eugene Brown, by way of a Christian message, will answer a few of these questions. Now, here is our speaker, Eugene Brown. Hi, friends, and greetings again today. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, it's always a joy in our heart to bring this radio program to you. And, of course, the very title of our program uh, signifies what we hope to do, and that is to bring a message of hope. You know, the Bible, the Word of God, it teaches us that in Him, meaning in Christ Jesus, in Him we live and move and have our being. Even the air that we breathe is sunlight, my friend, is given to us by our Heavenly Father. And remember that man is God's choice in creation because he made us to have dominion over everything that creepeth upon the earth. So man, uh, God has placed him to be in charge of this universe. And sometimes it looks like that man is making a mess out of what God has entrusted in our lives. We're going to preach uh, from uh, Proverbs in just a moment. And uh, the very nature of the book of Proverbs is what are the qualities of a good life. There are many titles that we could be giving to this book of Proverbs, but that's at least, I think, one good title. What are the qualities of a good life? And we have something in store for you today that we believe you're going to enjoy. Before we get into our message, we want to tell you about a little pamphlet that we've written, for, especially for you. And the title of this, Am I Going to Heaven? Most everybody in the world today thinks that they are going to heaven if there be such a place. But you know, the Bible tells us, which we can always go to the Word of God, and its source is always reliable. He said, There are ways that seem right unto men, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So there are a lot of ways that people are depending upon to take them to heaven but they're going to be very disappointed. So would you write us? We have an address at the conclusion of this broadcast, and we'd be so glad to send one to you, or even more than one, if you could pass them out in your community. Now, what are the qualities of a good life? Uh, you know, the wise man Solomon was the author of the book of Proverbs. And... Uh, we could use other things as subtitles of this book. The key to life, or the samples of life, or the way it ought to be. There are a lot of good things that we can find in this. And we look in the first chapter, uh, first of all, uh, he said to know wisdom and instruction. Verse 1, uh, we find here, or verse 2 rather, to know wisdom and instruction and perceive the words of understanding, uh, to receive instructions of wisdom and justice and judgment and equity. And uh, he said, uh, a wise man will hear and will increase uh, in learning. And now we know today if you want the wisdom of God and you want understanding, then you're going to listen to what we have to say. He said in verse Seven, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And he goes on to say, as his parents had taught him, My son, 
Uh, hear the instructions of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother. For they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. Now, if you today are looking for wisdom, and you know the Bible, the Word of God, uh, gives us the right kind of instruction. Now, he said in verses 1 of uh, chapter 3 of Proverbs that he's going to give us peace for obedience. He said, My son, forget not my law, for let thine heart uh, keep the commandments for length of days and long life and peace uh, shall they add to thee. Uh, so today, if we really want the peace of God to be in our lives, and certainly every man today wants the peace of God uh, to be in his life, and so if you want the peace of God uh, to be for in your life, then we're going to have to obey the Lord. He said, My son, forget not my law, and let not thine uh, and keep my commandments. See, we've got to keep the commandments of God if the peace of the Lord is going to be in our hands. It is twofold. He said uh, that we're to uh, keep the promises of God and forget not the word of the Lord. So many times we let the word of God slip, and the Bible teaches us uh, to not be the kind of person that we will go and hear the word of God and then we go our way and we forget what manner of man that we are. Uh, you see, sometimes a word uh, can just be dropped uh, into our hearts and our minds and our understanding and we may not need this word for the moment or this hour or this day, uh, but you see, it will uh, just lodge in our hearts and we just let it stay there and maybe days or months or years down the road then we do not turn from this word of wisdom that we receive today and so uh, then God has promised to give us favor for meekness and you see we're not to come to God and be a heady or high-minded uh, person but we find in verses 3 and 4 he said let not mercy and truth forsake thee Bind them about thy neck, and write them upon the tables of thine heart. And so shall thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of the Lord. So if we just let the mercy... You see, we're living in an unmerciful uh, generation. It seems like nobody wants to even give you the time of day. Everybody is selfish and self-centered. What is for me? And uh, see, the Christian way of life is that we are to give of ourselves, you see. We're to take time uh, to help our fellow man. We're to take time to try to uh, give strength and instruction to somebody else. And by so doing, uh, you see, the Lord is going to help us. And uh, if you want the favor of God today, uh, then let the mercy of God be in our lives. And so, for a great reason for man to show mercy, uh, because God uh, showed mercy to us. And if you'd like to turn to Titus uh, chapter 3 and verses 5, uh, you know God was merciful to us, and so God wants us to show mercy to our fellow man. And you think about, my friend, the mercy of God. Uh, the Lord spared your life and my life until the day that we could hear the message of the Word of God. And therefore, if we are just willing to be merciful, to our fellow man, uh, we're to try to help him and show strength uh, to his life. Now, we, uh, today, if we are to uh, receive uh, directions for trusting God. In verses 5 and 6, he said, Trust in the Lord with all of thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct our paths. So you see, for trusting in the Lord, he has prom promised direction for our lives. Now, I sometimes go to churches and I teach what I call family life uh, seminars to young couples that have been married and young people that are in high school or college and they hope uh, for the direction of God. And there are three things, and I'd like to pass them along to you. The most 
uh, important things of life, and that is who is going to be the Lord of your life, who is going to be the love of your life, and where is going to be your labor. So if you trust in the Lord, uh, you see, and let him be the Lord of your life, uh, he said, then lean not unto our own understanding. You know, people today are concerned about who uh, I'm going to marry, and that's important, the college that I'm going to attend, and that is important. But first of all, the most important thing is, uh, if you trust in the Lord, let him be the Lord of your life. So, and then secondly, who is going to be the love of your life? Whom shall I marry? Who uh, will I choose? You see, God is able... If you'll just let him be the Lord of your life, then he's able to bring somebody into your life uh, that can be a companion to you. And, of course, I believe the Christian message is uh, that Christians should marry Christians. And if the man or the woman uh, that you are uh, contemplating uh, being the love or the companion the rest of your life, uh, certainly uh, to talk to them about uh, the Lord. You see, many people today, even in America, where we are called a Christian nation, it seems like that people, they talk about uh, other things, the community they live in, the job that they're going to have, their profession, their labor, but they never even talk to them as to whether they're a Christian or whether they're interested in living a Christian life. So the Bible teaches us to not be ye unequally yoked together. So, friend... Uh, if you're going to be yoked together with somebody the rest of your life that's not going to be concerned about your Lord, uh, the God that you serve, then you're going to be unequally uh, yoked with that person. So it's vitally important that you talk to the person that you hope to be your companion the rest of your life. And remember this Proverbs, it tells us about uh, what all the keys of life, all the samples of life, or the way that it ought to be. So these are the qualities that we uh, can find in the Word of God. He's promised peace for obedience. He has promised favor. Uh, if uh, we will just meekly let our lives be for God. Now remember that the Lord uh, doesn't want to have just access to two or three rooms of your house. But God wants access to every room. Lord, I want to keep this for myself, but I'll let you have this part or that part. Two-thirds of my life, Lord, you can have, but I want to keep a third of it for myself. And of course, that is not pleasing to God. And then God has promised strength for your separation. He said, Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. And it shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. So if we today are willing to uh, let the fear of the Lord uh, direct us, you see, he is going to help us and give us a strength that we need to depart from evil. And not only that, in here, uh, you know, is a very important uh, part of our life. And that is God has promised uh, plenty if we will just uh, pay into God's uh, commerce into God's kingdom. So many times we want somebody else to pay the bills. We want somebody else uh, to support the church. But God said in verses 9 and 10, he said, honor the Lord with thy substance and with the first fruits of all of thine increase, so shall thy barns be filled with plenty and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. So the Israelites, if you remember and we could always draw from the Old Testament. They gave the first and the best that they had. Are you willing to give the first and the best that you have as a token of gratitude to God? He said, present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Would you bow with me just now in a moment of prayer? Heavenly Father, we thank you for your word today. It's a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our pathway. Solomon, the wisest man, Heavenly Father, he set down what would be the qualities of a good life. And Lord, I know that many are listening to me today, uh, dear Father, that want the qualities of a good life, but help them, Lord, to be willing to sacrifice. And I'll thank you for it. In Jesus' name, we pray today. Amen. May God bless you as our prayer. 
This message today has been brought to you by our speaker and director of the Words of Hope Ministry, Eugene Brown, a Baptist minister, pastor, and former missionary to Japan, also evangelist and conference speaker. If you wish more information about Christianity, how to be saved, the message of salvation, or if you are a Christian and desire instructions on living the Christian life, please write and express your desires. We read and answer all our mail. Write to Words of Hope, Post Office Box 78333, Nashville, Tennessee, 37207, USA. That's Words of Hope, Post Office Box 78333, Nashville, Tennessee, 37207, USA. Please print your name and address plainly. To our USA listeners, if you wish this message on cassette tape, we supply free to those who financially support our ministry. Write us about our Tape of the Month Club. When asking about today's message, ask for it by date of broadcast. Write Words of Hope Ministry, Post Office Box 78333. Nashville, Tennessee, 37207, USA. This is WWCR, Nashville, Tennessee, USA, Worldwide Christian Radio.